Alright guys, it's your boy New Teddy Arrow, and I'm going to come at you with my regional report. And just a heads up, if you didn't see Dave's regional report, it should be up first before this. But um, yeah, I ran, of course, Mermails, and I'll be going through the matchups that I had. I'm going to go through the matchup first. Um, I faced Battling Boxers Round 1, and I lost. And the reason being, it was a, a drawn-out game. I got too old, but... It was a drawn out game. We went to like turn 20, 30 or whatever it was. Um, real fought out. Um, real good player. Like it was his first regionals, but he knew Mermails in and out. He knew what to pop. He knew waiting for the MSTs. He did everything that he could possibly understand for him to beat me. <clears throat> so he won that one. Um, then round two, ironically, I faced Battle and Boxers again. Lost to that. I we did go to round three, but I I lost. I mean I went to round to game three. I still lost, but um, game two I won. I just destroyed him. I just kept smacking him for fifteen, and you know I just went off after that. Round three there was a no show. Um, that person was too scared to come to the table. I guess. <laughs> but um, round four, I faced evil swarms and got wrecked. My first hand was all level 7s. He went first. And ironically, he drew the one rabbit. Made Heliotropes. Made o Ophion detached. Got the Pandemic. And I opened my hand. I had two titles, two um, Megalos. One Abysteus. And I drew into a lead. I was like, I showed him my hand. I said, game two. And he was like, really? And I'm like, yeah. So, uh, he won that one. He two, uh, no, we went to game three. Um, I beat him game two. I just smacked his face in with um, Abysteus. No, with uh, Mermel. Uh, not Mermel. Bahamas Shark. Hit him with 26 and, and Dragoons and just kept smacking him for a game. <clears throat> Alright, round five also was a no show. It is what it is. Round six, um, I beat Black uh, Black Wings. Game one, I completely wrecked him. Like, he couldn't do anything. I just kept saying no. Popping his monsters. Destroying his monsters. I really didn't care about his back row. A lot of times it was fiendish chains. So I just kept going in, pushing in, pushing in. Um, game two, he beat me. I drew poop. Like, I drew all discarding monsters and no discard outlets. So I was setting like a marksman. Setting like a heavy infantry. Just to draw into pieces, and I didn't see any pieces. Game three, he did, untouchable. He didn't touch me. I made Bahamas Shark and poked him four times for game, so he couldn't do anything. Round seven, I beat Spellbook Eyes, which is Spellbooks with Blue Eyes and Maiden. Um, I told him it was no. He he came in late, and it was like thirty minutes. And since the judge didn't give me a match slip. You know, I couldn't tell him, look, I've been here all this time and my, my opponent didn't come in. So when when finally the judge brought my match slip, it was like 31 minutes left in a round. Um, the guy shows up and that should have been a game one loss. But, you know, he was a nice guy. I was like, whatever. And um, <clears throat> um, he beat me game one. I wrecked him game two. Um, and it was already into time. Game two, we went into time. So we we uh I beat him game two, um within turns, and then I was like let's just roll for it because I didn't want to draw he didn't want to draw, all day, I didn't win any die rolls at all, I told him here roll first he rolled a five, I'm like well even Dave said it he was like well Teddy you know you try, I rolled a die and rolled a six what was the odds of that like. It, it was crazy. So that was the first die roll I won all day. Um, then I faced Harpies in round six. The guy was like, oh, um, you want to buy a, a, a buy or whatever? And I'm like, no. <clears throat> I was like, let's play it out. I made him scoop both games. You mean I didn't like that? You mean so I just made him scoop. He barely, I took 2,000 and I took 900. 2,000 was first game because it was my warning. And 900 was just little damage that he pushed over. Round nine, this was on the bubble. If I would have won, I would have topped, but I didn't. Um, I lost, and I lost to Lavos. 
I didn't know about multi-conduction field. If you ditch uh, handmaiden first, handmaiden misses timing, so you won't be able to do it. So he did that, and I didn't notice, and that was game three, which is the one that really counted. And I lost because of that, so I lost on a bubble for something that I didn't know. So, yeah, that's uh, bad on my part, but I ended up the day 5-4. It would have been 6-3, uh, and I could have possibly got my invite, but it wasn't in the stars, I guess. So we're going to get right into the deck profile and the changes that I made. That a lot of people didn't like that were saying, oh, you're stupid for doing it. But they were the ones that went 1-4 and dropped. So, it is what it is. <clears throat> you can see it? Yeah. Triple Megalo, of course. The main guy. Um, a lot of times I did side it out. Side one out. Um, because top decking it was kind of like sucky. So, yeah. Three Abyssias. He put in so much work this this game. Um, against the battling boxes, I set him in defense. They couldn't get over him um, because, you know, they were still at 22. Lead, um, I ditched him a lot, but when I made him um, against the Lavo player, my out, um, I summoned Pike, ditched Gundy, made him beat over his Stardust, and he couldn't do anything from there, so he scooped. He said game three. Um, three Pikes. Pikes put in so much work. He was so dirty all day. And um, if I can run six, I will run six <laughs> bikes. Um, Triple Lindy. Actually, I've never seen this card opening hand. Well, no, one one time against Battling Boxers. But it was just like, that's the first, when I opened, um, he went first. I just summoned her and attacked 15. Quick damage, get it over with, and let's see. Um, and he left it on board for like four turns. And I just kept poking. Poke, poke, poke. So, you I mean, I took 6,000 from him in that one. Um, two Gundies, not three. Um, not one. Two for me is the perfect number. One Dragoons. Uh, three Marksmen. Three Heavy Infantry. Now, Double Valor and Double Maxi. Um, ironically, I didn't play no Dragons, which this is what it was for, Dragons. In the main, and it doesn't hurt me like uh, Imperial Iron Walls and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I will probably take this out. Probably take out one Veiler, just in case. Um, for the Diva, maybe. I'll put the Diva back, but... Yeah, as you can see, I didn't put no Divas. And Triple Titles, that wraps up the line, the monster lineup. Um, one Gold Sark, just to see the title. Um... I could go Sark for anything else, like against the Lavo player. I didn't have anything else, so I go Sark for a Dark Hole. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And that actually let me win. Um, like, he did his shenanigans, and um, because I composed his uh, TG Librarian, he couldn't do Quasar. Um, next turn, I got the, the Dark Hole and destroyed his field, and then I pushed, pushed. It still wasn't enough for me to game him, but he was at 68 at that time, and I was at 49, and just Blaster is too big by itself. So, Triple MST, I uh, never sided it out. That was one of the main focal points, and those are all the spells right there. Five. Um, three Spheres, one Warning, one Compose, one Dark Hole. That's um, the... List. Oh, bottomless here. Yeah. Why did I say dark hole? <laughs> uh, one bottomless composition warning were the three traps that I put as one one for ones. Um, no torrental in the main because I didn't really like it and I need my monsters on board because um, I need them to be there. Um, also, <clears throat> what I was going to say. Oh, I didn't face dragons all day, which I sided heavily for, but I didn't see them all day. And I got uh, 125th place. So, yeah, it is what it is. Two Electric Virus. Two Fire Ferrets. Two Snowman. One Maxi. All this here, you could tell is for Dragons. Except the Fire Ferrets and the Snowman, but they can alternate in each one. So, you could tell that it's for Dragons. Like, Imperial Iron Wall, Dragons, um, Back Row Heat. Um, anything. T 
Torrential Tribute is in the side and Mirror Force. And my 15th card, MVP of the day. Completely what I cited out all the time and what I mained into it. Heraldic Record. Heraldic Record, guys, picked this card up. To me, this was the MVP of the day. It won me like three games. Easily. Three games. When that um, Blackwing player made this card, made their XE that negates all their effects, that um, water one looks like Ice a bird. Ice uh, zero thing. Yeah, something like that. He detached. I flipped this, and he picked it up to read it. Right there, I knew I had game. Because he went to, a, um, like, effect veiler all my monsters. I had Drago Sack and Big Eye and his uh, Armored Master on board. And um, <clears throat> he, I flipped this, and he was like, he looked at it. And he was like, oh, crap, all right. So, um, then, you know, next turn I beat his face in. But mm -hmm. this card was just so good, guys. Pick it up. I will probably main another one. I'll probably side another one right now. Uh, so, tokens, of course. All right, now on to the extra deck. I didn't make these all day. Because <laughs> you didn't see the Veilers? I didn't see the Veilers at all. I made this card once. Against um, one of my our newer teammates that uh, Marcus recruited, but um, we were just playing for fun, and I made this, and I actually won that because I made it. Zen mains abyss strike Leviathan. <clears throat> I didn't. I made. I didn't make this guy all night. I made these two. I didn't make this guy at all. Um, Cowboy Maestro Black Ship Dweller. Um, and Bahamas Shark. Made him, never made him, never made him, never made him, never made him. No, I made him. To, against a Blackwing player to help me out. Because he had something that I couldn't get over and I was like, uh, uh This guy. Um, so, the reason I'm going to tell you guys this, you better pick this guy up. Um, the reason being, this guy gets over... What is the, um, that Noble Knight deck? It, this guy hurts them completely. Because if you, if you stall it out, hold out, hold out. When you finally make this, you make, you burn their X seed or whatever. They burn for a thousand and then it's hard for them to come back from it. To make a big monster. But I never faced Noble Knights. Two Abyss Gaios made it against my Battleland Boxers that helped me. Uh, win a game and that was it. I only made it twice all day. Um, big Eye, Drago Sack. I made both of them at least four times. Um, this guy, I made him so many times. Um, a lot of people looked at me like, why would you make Drago Sack to pop my one back row? The reason being, I need my big pushes to get off. And since I don't run Lances, this is like another MST for me. I never, get, I never take your monster unless it's something that I can't get over. But... MVP man, tell me. Um, but what I take from all this, I need to put in Diva, and this card is so good, guys. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, I got 125th place, running Mermails. Um, it is what it is. You know, I lost on the bubble. If I would have won, I was at table 40. Um, if I would have won there, I would have probably got at least 48th place or 50th place, whatever. Um, I wanted to get under the hundreds this time, so, yeah, guys, it's your boy, New Teddy Era. Comment, like, subscribe, and after this video, we'll have our other teammate, Giovanni's deck profile up. Um, this was his first regionals. He didn't do as good as he wanted, um, but when he went in, he went in with the utmost confidence. He was like, yeah, I'm going to win this. I want it. I want to, I want to do it. He went with Black Wings, and, um... He's going to do his tournament report, I guess. So, yeah, guys. 10 likes on this video. And the next video will go up. Um, check out our team uh, Facebook page. will be down in the description. And, yeah, guys. Peace. Bye.